any better play that he's seen from her. Two coaches with a lot. It's going to be a good one, Corey. You saw the head-to-head, -head, that last game coming at CBA, a high school down the road in the outdoors, Notre Dame. Asa Goldstock firing up her team. She's the goaltender without all the accolades in her pocket. Bridget Dean, the first-team All-American, the preseason goaltender of the year. Everyone says Dean. Vanderbilt aren't necessarily the cream de la creme, so uh, a conference like the ACC can really take advantage. Savannah Buchanan, part of that midfield, feeds the crease, open look, and Goldstock the first save on the outstanding Casey Choma. Choma, the number one recruit in her class two years ago, and Goldstock up Usual, to the first. But on that takeaway, Ella Simpkins showing what 51 career starts in a row can do. Natty Howe got inside, the bouncer stopped by Goldstock. Asa two for two, and she atones for the earlier turnover. How did she get that? Not in a position whatsoever. Look at this. Backhand. Above her her buckle quite unhappy. Lynch starts in and missed Goldstock. But Notre Dame backs it up. On those other ones that do make it within the boundaries of the cage. Gary Yates called her. A lot of them wide. Syracuse's defense closing in on wide open opportunities and forcing shots off course. Cockrell bouncer may have hit the leg of Dehan. That would be your first save, and Emma Ward, though, gets the ground ball. I think it might hit the pipe. On the body, on the body. Carney saved by Dean. She gets in front of that one. Save number one for Bridget Dehan after 22 and a half minutes. Syracuse has already doubled up the most goals Notre Dame has allowed this season. We're not even done with the first half. Carney save made Dean. A waist high save for Bridget Dean. She might be finding her groove. Much more settled now. Much more what Chris Happen he says is her bread and butter. Patiently waits. You see a point from Sierra Conqueror. It ends up with Tyrell. In for Emma, behind the back, would not go. And the rebound, Emily L. keeps it alive. Choma weaving in. At the hand free for a second. Shot clock to 10. Howe looks, right hand free. Howe bounces wide. The question was, was it on cage? Answers no, and the shot clock winds down. Much into the eight meter arc at all. They get to do it for free. And Jesse Masinko, the grad student from Roswell, Georgia. In on Goldstock. Can't beat her low, it's in the crease. Golfed out of there and one back to Maddie Howe. Shot clock resets, man up continues for Notre Dame. Casey Choma gets to her stance. In on Goldstock and a save high. Rebound knocked around toward the goal mouth and Notre Dame again can reset. Still a woman up for Notre Dame. Inside a shot missed left from Casey Choma. Shot clock resets. This half. Now Maddie Howe steps in. Howe's denied by Goldstock. And the Orange finally get possession. All under that mask. Open look for Cockrell. Can't make it six, a save by Dean up high. Bridget Dean with her fifth save. That might have been her best. Good Out comes Bridget Dean. 18 goals allowed. And the freshman Lily Callahan comes in the game for the Irish. Coach Chris Halfpenny said, her team's always ready for next woman in, and Lily Callahan is fantastic. She was quick to praise both goaltenders. Now Callahan comes in. Shot clock still a factor here with the woman up. Cockrell powers in, a flag coming. Cockrell bounces wide as Callahan sees her first shot. Syracuse wins their 10th straight 
remains undefeated and knocks out number four. Asa Goldstock, eight saves. Not her best night, giving up 14 goals.